The Supreme Court this morning started hearing the appeal by the four expelled NRM MPs, challenging the ruling of the Constitutional Court, temporarily refraining them from conducting any parliamentary business. A panel of seven judges, led by Justice Bart Katureve, listened in as the lawyers of the expelled NRM MPs, the NRM party, and the Attorney General submitted their arguments. <laughs> Kaleba Laka, on behalf of the appellants, the expelled NRM MPs, asked court to hold the execution of the constitutional court ruling, stay the proceedings of the same court, and demanded that they be granted costs. Alaka based his prayers on arguments that it was subjudice for the constitutional court to proceed with the case, since the MPs had challenged their expulsion from the party in the high court. Alaka also argued that the petition challenging the decision of the speaker was prematurely brought before court, since the expulsion from the party was already challenged in the high court. He further argued that the ruling was tainted with bias, citing that some members of the bench were promoters of the NRM. The NRM team lead attorney, John Mary Mujisha, however, raised up against Alaka's submissions, saying that there were no more proceedings before the constitutional court, therefore nothing to stay. Mugisha told court that the pending application was not challenging the expulsion of the MPs from the party, but the speaker's ruling on keeping the MPs in the house. He further submitted that the rebel MPs could only appeal against the final judgment and not the temporary injunction. However, Justice Bart Katurebe tasked Mugisha to explain whether the Attorney General had any legal mandate to have the MPs kicked out of Parliament, a statement he had earlier made. Another issue in the appeal was challenging the mandatory temporary injunction which was issued by the Constitutional Court. Justice Bart Katurebe also asked Mujisha to read out the term mandatory from the application which they had earlier filed as a temporary injunction, but in vain. The judges extended their earlier ruling, allowing the expelled NRM MPs to stay in the House until when they pronounced themselves on the matter. They are expected to give their ruling on a date yet to be communicated. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.